Today, on February 25th, Qualcomm Hall press conference announcing Wi-Fi 6E with 6 GHz radio frequency access. And today, I want to compare connection technologies Wi-Fi 6 versus Wi-Fi 6E announced today by Qualcomm. What is the real performance of this new technology? Wi-Fi 6 isn't just a simple speed boost, its impact will be more significant. The main question is, how fast is the Wi-Fi 6 specifications clearly determined? that Wi-Fi 6 speed is 9.6 gigabits per second. The speed of previous generation of Wi-Fi called Wi-Fi 5 is 3.5 gigabits per second. You also have to understand that the whole speed does not have to go to a single computer. It can be split across the whole network of devices. That means more potential speed for each device. You can get the all new experience of using Wi-Fi 6 by new gadgets like laptops, smart smartphones and Wi-Fi routers. Qualcomm company actually thinks about the future and Wi-Fi 6E is actually based on smart usage of Wi-Fi 6 and the 5G network in the smartphone or PC. Combination of these two important technologies allows you to get downlink speed more over than 15 gigabits per second. Actual improvement of this network will be 30%. The main important difference with the Wi-Fi 6E from Wi-Fi 6 is security option. The new protocol, quite difficult to crack, current devices and routers are not support VPA third generation, but it's optional. For my opinion, the announcement of the all-new Wi-Fi 6E protocol is about next five years experience, but Qualcomm want to push the boundaries much forward. The announcement of X60 mobile platform allows you to get the Wi-Fi 6E right on your tablet or laptop or any other device. So currently the latest chip chipset from Qualcomm is Snapdragon 865 5G. It is still the best chipset on the market. Qualcomm didn't update it and they actually made general thought on the integration of 5G to transform the mobile gaming experience. For now, all powerful games in VR or augmented reality modes are moving into clouds. If you have high stable 5G connection, you actually can play very powerful games right on your smartphone or tablet. It is new vector for Qualcomm for now. Next decade. Company also announced XR2 5G reference design platform for virtual reality and augmented reality devices. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel.